Okay, great. So you have started a podcast. Now, how do we get people to find it and listen to it? In this video, we are going to walk through how to get your podcast onto iTunes or Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. That's it. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Pete from Do You Even Blog here. It's where we talk to bloggers and podcasters who want to make money on the internet. Step number one to getting your podcast found on all the places is to get your RSS feed. This is literally like a link, a URL that is a bunch of code. I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. Who cares? The point is that Apple Podcasts and Spotify and everywhere else pulls your shows from that RSS feed. So you're going to have to copy and paste that RSS feed into all these different places. And we're going to do that in the next step. So there are two things you need to do to get an RSS feed in your podcast host. Number one would be to fill out all your show information. You can see here I am looking at my channel title, my podcast title, my artwork, channel categories, descriptions. This is all at the show level, not the episode level. That's important to note. And I'm in Podbean, but you can find all of your show settings in a bunch of different podcast host providers, whoever you use. Here's a little bit more, the summary, the subtitle to my podcast, the author name, my categories, email, explicit, yes or no. I like to curse on my podcast. iTunes is going to be pulling all of this show information. So you want to have that set in your podcast host. The second step to getting your RSS feed ready to you know push out to all these different places is to publish a podcast episode. Once you do that in your podcast host, you should have an RSS feed to copy and paste. Side note, I recommend starting with an episode zero right? Just a three to 10 minute episode that describes who you are, the host, as well as what your show is going to be about and what you're going to help people with. So you've got your first episode or an episode zero, you hit publish and they will give you an RSS feed URL. Once you have that, it's time to move on to step two. So the time has come to submit your show to Apple Podcast slash iTunes. You can go to Google or you can type this in. I will have the links to all these things in the description below this video iTunes Connect. iTunesConnect.apple.com. You will go to that URL and log in using your Apple ID. You do have an Apple ID, don't you? You're going to need one of those. Once you are logged into iTunes Connect, you will be presented with this screen where you will see Podcast Connect. This is for content creators who want to have their podcast on Apple Podcast. Log in, click on Podcast Connect, and hopefully you'll be good to go. If you have made it this far, you should be presented with a big bar to type in or paste in your podcast RSS URL. You are going to do that and you're going to hit validate. It's going to pull the numbers. It's going to pull your podcast information. And after a few seconds, you should be presented with a picture of your iTunes artwork that you entered in your podcast host, as well as your podcast show details and the details of that first episode. From there, the process is actually really straightforward. You just submit it and wait. It will probably take anywhere from a day up to like a week or two, at which point you should get notified that your podcast is now in Apple podcast. Congratulations. Next up is getting your podcast onto Spotify. There are two ways to do this. The first way is going to be through your podcast host. Simplecast, Blueberry, Libsyn, Blueberry, Podbean, anybody. They should have, at this point, a nice little button in your dashboard somewhere in order to submit your RSS feed to Spotify. As you can see right here in my Podbean dashboard, it's under like social share and you click connect to Spotify. All of the major podcast host providers have this functionality now. I recommend going to Google and typing in Spotify podcast, insert name of your host here. That said, there's another almost as easy manual way and that is to go to podcasters.spotify.com. I'll post a link below, of course. Log in with your Spotify account. And as you can see in this video, I already have mine connected. There's my episodes over there. But you can click in your account options right here and click add or claim your podcast. Once you do that, you will click get started and it walks you through two or three steps. Again, need your podcast RSS feed URL. You copy and paste it in there. You'll double check all your info and then hit submit. You have a podcast published. You have your artwork and title and description for your show and all that great stuff, which you do in your podcast host. It should be pretty simple and straightforward to get on Spotify. And the good news is it is almost 
instantaneous. You won't have to wait as long for Spotify as you do for these others. So speaking of waiting, let's move on to talking about how to get your podcast into Google Podcast. So here's how this process works. You have very little control over exactly when your podcast is gonna show up on Google Podcast. So basically you're gonna be hitting publish on your podcast and you're going to wait for Google to crawl it, to index your podcast. Now, I don't like waiting, you don't like waiting. That could take anywhere from three or four days to 30 days. It takes a while, but there are a few shortcuts that I'm gonna tell you right now that'll help you get found faster. First up is this podcast publisher tools page where you can double check if your podcast is being indexed right now, currently, or not. You will grab your RSS URL, paste it in this page, hit generate, and it will show you, yes, this is indexed already, woohoo! No, it is not, and then you'll have to wait longer. Per Google Podcast guidelines, which there is also linked to below, you will need to link to your website from your RSS feed. You probably already did that in your podcast host when you were filling out your show information, there is always, always, always a field that says website. Sometimes this might be hosted by your podcast company. Simplecast has a podcast website function, Podbean. You can always change it if you have a separate website like I do and make sure it's linked to in your RSS feed. So that's part one, check. Part two is to do vice versa. Make sure your website is linking to your RSS feed. Again, a bunch of podcast hosts do this on autopilot, but if yours doesn't, if you have a separate website, you can go into wherever you can edit your headers and footers. Insert headers and footers is a great WordPress plugin for this and insert a little HTML tag that points to your RSS feed. I will include that below, probably in a comment or something where you can just copy and paste that put in your own RSS feed URL, and you should be good to go. Once you have those two things that are like linking to each other, it's only a matter of time before Google indexes your websites and then finds the RSS feed URL and then boom shakalaka, you're on Google Podcast. There is one more trick though, pub sub hubbub. That's right, say that three times fast. Pub sub hubbub, pub sub hubbub .appspot .com slash published, linked below this video. You can paste in your RSS feed URL hit publish, and that will send that RSS feed to Google. It's not gonna be instantaneous. You're not gonna see anything on the screen that says like, oh cool, you are found now. You're not gonna see any of that. You just have to trust that it works. You can paste in your RSS feed URL, send it to Google, and hopefully that'll end up with your podcast found faster. The last thing I'll mention that if you are on Apple Podcast, chances are high that your podcast is being pushed out to a bunch of different players right here. That's Overcast, that's the podcast player I listen to, and that pulls from iTunes and Apple Podcasts. So just by being on Apple Podcasts, your podcast is gonna get pushed to a lot of different apps and directories and podcast players. So now that you have your show done and published and launched and you pushed out to Apple and or iTunes and everywhere else, it is time to grow your downloads. Up top and in the description below, I will link you to podcast marketing strategies. I have a really great video on that for growing your downloads. Now you're launched, now you gotta grow your downloads. I'll post a link to that resource as well. Go check that out. You can also check out my interview with a world-class podcaster, Joe Saul Sihai, who gives lots of fantastic tips for interviews as well as just sounding good on a microphone and being a great host. I'll include a link to that as well. And that's all I got, podcaster. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. If you're a blogger or podcaster looking to build a business over the internet, that's who we are here. Subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment below with your podcast URL. I would love to take a look. And that's all I got. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Adios.